Good day everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to play the board game Monopoly Tropical Tycoon, the DVD game. So before we begin, Mr. Monopoly, show us what this game is about. Welcome to Monopoly Tropical Tycoon. I'm Mr. Monopoly, your guide to this island paradise. In true Monopoly fashion, you'll be trying to amass as much wealth as possible. At the end of the game, you'll convert all of the cash and property you have into special pieces called fortune tokens. You can also earn fortune tokens throughout the game, so pay close attention to the DVD. Whoever has the most fortune tokens at the end of the game will be the winner. In addition to regular beach houses and resorts, the island offers four new developments, parks, casinos, piers, and restaurants. You'll learn more about these as we go along. There's a lot going on here on the island, so stay tuned to the latest news updates to help you keep the flu. Okay, so we'll go ahead and show you the different things. Right here, these are beach houses. And uh, right over here, we have the resorts that you'll be using. And right here, we have the fortune token. And right here are the fortune tokens. And this is what you're going to be trying to collect the most of in order to win the game. And there's various ways you can collect them. Uh, purchasing properties, making choices during the news broadcast, which I'll talk about. Uh, you can get them through the Chance and Community chess cards. And at the very end uh, of the game, the DVD is going to convert everything that you have into the fortune tokens. And right here are the pieces that represent the casinos, the piers, the parks, and uh, the restaurants right in here. Of course, right over there is your money, right over there are your dice, and uh, one of the dice has a little television on it, and anytime you roll the TV, uh, you'll go ahead and move the amount of the other die, and then you'll uh, click the television on the DVD, which is the story mode. And uh, right here you have a six pieces that you can choose from as your token. You've got a little motor scooter, uh, you've got a beach hat, you have a sailboat, you have a cannon, uh, you have a little flip-flop, and then you have a parrot. And then you'll just simply choose one and you'll put it here on the ghost space. Now on top of that, you're going to get to choose a job. And there are five different jobs that you can choose from. But here they are. The mayor, and they have special abilities. She'll get $300,000 for passing or landing on go. The police chief... Uh, he can allow people to remain on the go to jail space instead of going to jail. He never pays to get out of jail and he'll get $50,000 when someone else lands on just visiting. The developer purchases all buildings at $25,000 less than the list price. The surfer will get a fortune token for rolling doubles unless those are the doubles that send him to jail. And finally, the artist may buy fortune tokens at the start of the turn for $100,000 a piece. So they each have different abilities, which is pretty cool. First things first. Okay, now, right here you're going to choose how many players that you want to do. And uh, as you know, this game is for three or more players, but you can do it with two if you would like to. Uh, the way you would simply do it with two is you would just simply not deal with the news updates. Uh, if you rolled the television on your die, you could just simply move one instead. Uh, the news updates are going to use the different characters that you choose, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's just say I choose three players. Good. Okay, then. So right here it's going to tell you what the denominations are and how much money each person is going to get. Okay, and then you'll choose your pieces. Choose your game pieces and determine who will go first. Each of you roll one die. Player one is the person with the highest roll, with the other players proceeding clockwise around the table. Alright then, here are the different jobs that you'll be using in the game. Player one, you'll be the police chief. Player two, you will be the developer. And finally, player three will be the mayor. Note that each job comes with a starting property. Okay, so one thing you'll note here are these are the players that you choose from uh, if you decide to do the story mode. And each of the players are going to receive uh, properties for free. So now let's talk about the different spaces over here. Uh, anytime you land on or pass go, you are going to collect this amount of money. Unless you're the mayor, then you'll make more. Uh, these are the different properties over here. And they're grouped in two and threes. And each of them have a certain color. A chance in Community Chest, uh, if you land on this, you'll simply click on the DVD. And uh, you'll either get money, lose money, or maybe some tokens, etc. Uh, if you land on just visiting, nothing's going to happen over here the free parking. Now with free parking and typically nothing's going to happen but in this game if you land on free parking you'll be able to choose an unowned property and purchase it at the list price. Uh, if you land on go to jail that is simply going to send you directly over here to jail and then you have the uh, two tax spaces over here you'll just simply uh, pay that amount if you land on them. 
Uh, now, in the very beginning, you're going to go ahead and roll the die. And let's just say I happen to roll a nine. And I'll have my character land over here on Stingray Bay. And there is a price here for $120,000. So here's the property. Now, let's go ahead and say I decide I'm going to go ahead and purchase the property for $120,000. I'll go ahead and pay it. Now, uh, if you end up purchasing a property, you're going to automatically collect a fortune token. And now, anytime anybody lands on this property, they're going to pay me a certain amount of money in rent. Now, if it turns out that I own all three of these, that is going to constitute a monopoly, and the rent is automatically going to double right over here. Now, on top of that, I'll also be able to purchase uh, things like beach houses and resorts as well. And uh, in order, to, and what that's going to do is that's going to jack the rent up even more. Uh, so let's just say, for example, I wanted to buy a beach house. It would just simply cost me fifty thousand dollars each for each beach house. So let's say I paid a hundred thousand dollars. I could build a beach house here and a beach house here. Now there's an even build rule when it comes to the beach houses. You can't just build four here. You have to go one, 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 then two, 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 etc. Now uh, once you end up reaching the four beach houses, you'll actually be able to buy a resort. And what you would simply do is. You you would just pay um, another $50,000 and trade in the four houses and then put the resort in there. And as you can see, this is the rent that is going to be for each for the properties, depending on how many beach houses or the resort is. Uh, now, on top of this, you have the developments that you can purchase, put on there, the casinos and the restaurants, etc. And this will tell you how much they cost each. Now, uh, you're only going to be able to put one developments on, like one pier, one casino, etc. But you can mix and match them and they have different things that they do and I'll talk about those later. Now you'll note also that at the end of the game each of them are going to be worth a certain amount of uh fortune tokens. Now you can also do what is called mortgaging. If you need to raise some money or something like that, um, you can go ahead and uh, turn the property over and receive $60,000 from the bank for this particular property and then you'll lay it down like this. Now if the property is mortgaged and someone lands on it, you're not going to be charging them any money. Now if you want to unmortgage it, you're uh, simply going to have to uh, pay this back plus 10%. Now the wind farm and the solar stations, they work a little bit differently. Uh, these are utilities and uh, the way these work, if someone lands on them, uh, they're going to end up paying you the amount that is shown on the dice. Uh, if they own one of the utilities, they do this. If they own both of the utilities, uh, they, this will end up happening right over here. You also have the properties right in the middle of each section, the scooter rental, the taxi service, the jet ski rental, and the helicopter ride. Um, if you own, depending on how many of those you own, this is how much you're gonna charge for rent. So if you happen to own the taxi service, and say uh, the scooter rental that would count as two transports and then whoever lands on them would end up paying you this much money. Now if you decide you don't want to buy a property you're going to go ahead and auction it. Now in typical Monopoly you're just going to do like a regular auction where you just bid but in this one you're going to do sight unseen bidding. Instead of, and what you're going to do is you're going to put a certain amount of money in your hand that you're willing to pay for it, and then everybody's going to reveal how much money, and whoever had the highest amount is going to go ahead and be able to get the property. Now, there's a few ways you can go to jail. You can go to jail if you land on that space. If you roll doubles three times in a row, as in regular Monopoly, if you roll doubles, you're going to get to go again. But if you roll doubles three times in a row, you'll go to jail. Or the DVD can send you to jail via the Chance or Community Chess Card. So if you're in jail, uh, you can try to see if you can roll doubles to get out. You'll have three turns to do so. And if you do roll the doubles before your third turn ends, you'll just simply move that amount out. Otherwise, uh, you'll, you can go ahead and pay $50,000 and get out of jail that way. If after the third attempt to roll doubles, you don't get it, you'll pay the $50,000 and then get out. Now as in regular Monopoly, you can do trading, you can trade properties, you can make deals with people. Uh, now if you decide to sell the properties, you just simply do it as a private transaction with another player. It could work the same way as a trade and you can just kind of make deals however you want. The only thing is no properties can be sold to another player if there are buildings and developments on any of the properties of that Monopoly. They have to be sold back to the bank first. If you want to go ahead and sell developments back, you will just simply pay half of what you pay for it back to the bank. Okay, so let's just go over the menu that you're going to be using in the game. Uh, if you land on chance, you'll click this. If you land on community chest, you'll click this. Anytime you roll the TV on the die, you're going to go ahead and click on the news update. If you land on a property that has one of these four uh, developments on it, you'll just simply click on it. And uh, I'll just talk a little bit about them. With the casino, um, whoever lands on it, they're going to go ahead and uh, play a slot machine, typically. And if they end up winning, you're going to pay them money. But if they lose, they're going to pay you money. With the restaurant, 
Um, this is really the amount of money you're going to get on this is going to depend on any developments that are surrounding the restaurant or are close to it. So if you have like a resort on one side or something else on the other side, you'll typically make more money. With the pier, you're going to be making more money if there is a cruise ship nearby or docking. And with the park, I believe this has to do with this, just the weather. But the main thing with the park is you're going to be getting the most amount of fortune tokens at the end of the game. Uh, the help menu is self-explanatory. If you need help with the rule, you'll just simply click that and choose what you need help with. When the game ends, you'll simply click Game Over, and you can start a new game with this. So let's just say I landed on Chance, and I'll click on this. Do you want to visit downtown or shop at the marketplace? So you're going to get to actually choose uh, where you want to visit on the island. So let's click this. Chance. Ooh, this looks like it could be valuable property. And there are a whole bunch of different uh, things that are going to happen when you land on Chance. Uh, so that's one example. Let's go to Community Chest. Do you want to check out the view at the harbor or watch the stars at the observatory? Let's choose the stars. Community Chest. You stop for some stargazing at the observatory. So there's another thing that happens uh, with that. Let's go to OK. And uh, all right, let's show you the news update, how this works. And in other news, the island's beloved football team, the Beach Barnacles, have been in meetings about possibly relocating to a new stadium. Currently, the boys are at the crumbling Pacific Palace, an inadequate facility to say the least. As you know, if you've been to a game, the arena is missing a few minor amenities, such as a food court, parking, and a women's washroom. Stay with Channel 63 as this story plays out. A new sports arena here on the island? Well, it's about time. So with the news thing, uh, this is going to be a continuing story and then uh, it's going to give you instructions as to which player is going to do what. Um, and this is a pretty cool mode and again, this is optional, you don't have to use it. But let's just click the news update again to just give you an idea here of the continuation. After 10 days of non-stop talks between the Barnacles owner and city officials, it's just been announced that construction will begin on a new sports arena. Yes! The multi-million dollar project will be handled by the developer and the artist, who estimate the facility will be open to the public in under four months. Who says there's nothing good in the news? Matt Conklin here, Channel 63 Sports. If you're going to start building the new sports arena, you'd better find a good location. So in this, uh, the developer is going to get to advance. Now, there are a whole bunch of different stories in this game. And the same when you're selecting the players, um, you're going to, it's going to be different. But I believe the police chief and the mayor are always going to be in the story mode. I might be wrong on that. But uh, anyway, this is just an example of how the story mode works. All right, let's go to the casino here and show you this. Okay, player, using the DVD remote, select the property you're currently on. All right, let's just say I'm on this one. And here's a slot machine. Uh-oh, this didn't look good for the... You did it! I can't believe you managed to pull that one off. So in... <laughs> So in this case, the person who owns the casino is going to actually have to pay the person that landed on the property. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right, let's go to the restaurant. Okay, player. All right, let's just say I'm over here. All right now, player. Look at the board and find out what's on the property to the left of your game piece. Now, as I had mentioned Using before... The DVD remote, select that property on the screen. Now, as I had mentioned before, you're going to be looking for uh, developments that are around the restaurant. So let's just say I say nothing for the left. All right now, player. And Look at the board. Let's and say that for the right. This neighborhood could do with some work, but at least your charity function at the restaurant went well. Now this is not a very high amount just simply because I had just one development, but the more developments you have surrounding, the more you're going to make. Alright, let's go to the pier, and this is the one with the cruise ship. Okay, play. The sun is shining, the weather is warm, and the cruise ship just docked. It doesn't get any better than this down at the pier. Well, good. So, uh, in this case, the cruise ship was there, so uh, the owner is going to get a lot of money for that. And he's not going to get as much if there's no cruise ship. All right, now we'll go to the park. Okay, player. 
Ah, the sun is shining and there's not a cloud in sight. You couldn't have picked a better day to host your company picnic in the park. So, pretty self-explanatory, you're just going to simply pay money. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much all this here on the game. So, there you go. And lastly, if someone ends up going bankrupt, I'll just kind of show you the uh, what the rules say about it because it's a little bit detailed. But uh, you can actually end the game at any time. If someone goes bankrupt, you can end the game then or you can just play it as long as you want to. Now, at the very end, uh, whoever has the most amount of fortune tokens is going to win. Okay, players. It's time to count all your money and convert it into fortune tokens. Remember, $200,000 is worth one fortune token. Next, convert all your properties into fortune tokens. If you need to know how many fortune tokens you get for each property, just look at that property's card for more details. Players, count up all your fortune tokens. The player with the most fortune tokens will be the winner. So anyway, guys, that is Monopoly Tropical Tycoon DVD game.